Good morning, guys. Hope you all having a great day. Good morning, or had one, depending on where you're located. I have finally, finally got that media uploaded for you. What I have spent the last few days just letting my machine upload, for some reason, Google Drive is so slow that uh, it's literally taken two days to upload this, this media. So what I've got for you today are converted retro arch bezels to conform to rocket launcher settings as well as some unique bezels that I've been creating over the last few months. I've also downloaded bezels from the Every Game Has a Bezel project and incorporated about six or seven thousand of those. Now the links you'll find in the description. Let's just take a look. I have had a very, 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 very busy week. I've got three builds shipping out today. I've got two more I gotta finish this morning. Taxes were due yesterday and I'm still doing those. There was a huge patch released yesterday and I'm gonna go over that here in a minute. Let's just take a look at some of the unique bezels. Like for example, um, it's just about any computer-based system I have created. I don't like a lot of graphics wrapped around your game. I, I can find it a little bit distracting. So if you like something a little bit more uh, flashy, then I'm sure it's out there. Complete. But here is, uh, I do believe, 20 gigs of bezels. That's GS. Here's the Apple II. Loading complete. Now I've got a huge list of systems, but um, I'm only going to cover just a few. You see, it's they're plain. They're not too flashy. Let's take a look. Let's see what else we got. I can't remember which ones I've created versus uh, ones that I later noticed was probably a lot better, in my opinion, and I converted. Like, I did this one. For some reason, I even went after this guy here. But throughout uh, this entire list of 210 systems, I do believe I did about 80. From the Pico. I don't even know why I touched the Pico, but I'm sure somebody out there somewhere plays the Loading Pico. Complete. Um, all the Game Boys, I do believe I've showed off before. Uh, each of the Game Boys are a different color. Uh, the Game Boy is gray. Game Boy Advance is blue. Game Boy um, color is red, I believe. Let's see. The PlayStation, PlayStation 2, I believe I showed those off before. Anyway, guys, there they are. Download them. Do whatever you want to with them. I do believe it's right at 28 gigs. Also, for those of you that are wanting to convert your hyperspin over from a static HT, I mean, a XML theme to a theme that uses MP4s just like LaunchBox, and not only will it aid in the memory management of the flash integration that uh, will never be updated due to the legacy support in Windows, but you'll get a much better experience. I've also uploaded all of those themes as well as the media, and 99% of this stuff was taken from the LaunchBox forums, so uh, I was corrected by someone on the forums my last video, <coughs> video that uh, you can go and download this stuff all that you want. It's free. You don't need an account at LaunchBox. But I would highly suggest it. Uh, when you get a program that well written, that stable, and if you've been watching LaunchBox over the last few years, the progression, especially from one developer, is 
pretty outstanding. Let's just take a look at the themes that you can convert to. Now, everything that you're about to see are MP4 themes. These are not uh, static themes. I've either created, uh, I've either converted these from static, if they did not exist, to MP4s. You see, launch box is so much, I mean, uh, hyperspin is much more fluid. This one here I would love to get rid of just because of that uh, graphic in the back. Um, it's not, uh, not appealing to me. But you see how much more fluid and how much more responsive hyperspin is with those MP4s? It's um, very noticeable. So all of that is uh, also on the Google Drive, which I will link down below. All right. So one thing that, um, golly. And this has caused a headache twice. I had uh, once in August of 2018, as well as about a week ago, two weeks ago. When Main 205 was released, I decided to start from a fresh set with all fresh extras, uh, software list, everything. So usually the very first person to uh, publish a no nag is insert more coins. Very knowledgeable and very, uh, it's a very good site to actually go and get full releases, not uh, daily Git compiles. But these are the dev releases that you know you'll probably want to grab. However, uh, this is twice this has happened, and Maine, he always releases the no nag first always uh, but this nag here is very bad it has no neo geo support no hlsl no glsl uh it's missing uh several things and it was causing a huge headache i could not for the life of me figure out why systems immediately started crashing whenever they were working just fine and uh, CLR main as well as ROM Vault both tell me I've got a 100% working ROM set well I went back I thought back to August 2018 and there it was it was in the uh, bad main compile so if you want to go grab an update, let's say if you if you uh, are running a newer version of MAME on an extensions controller or an iPack, then you probably want to grab the the update I released yesterday. It's about 300 gig, I mean 300 megs. But it will address everything across the board, not only with this bad compile here, but uh, several other things. One of the best sources to get a no nag, and honestly, I don't know his name offhand, but he's on the Hyperspin forums. You will find it under third party releases. And he's pretty quick too. I, I just can't remember if, if you're active on the forums, then you know who he is. And I've never had a problem with his build. It's just sometimes he's a little slow publishing. All right, guys, what you're looking at here so is a machine I'm, I built about a month ago for a project. Now, I ended up not using this machine. As a matter of fact, it's just been sitting on my desk doing absolutely nothing for the last month. And if anyone out there needs a rig for their arcade, you can have this at cost. It is a great machine. It's a Ryzen 3. Specs are going to show up here in just a second. I do have the CPU overclocked to 3.92 per core and the memory overclock to three gigahertz.
Now I can configure the two terabyte drive in there for an arcade if you do have one coming. But on a two terabyte drive, you can get main and quite a lot of six and 18 bit systems pretty much all the way up to uh, PlayStation. I know for a fact I have less than $450. So let me know, it's ready to ship. And most of all, have a great day, guys.